hi in my last video i already demonstrated how to generate that watershed module and then the reserve network so we are already done with importing our time series data and our alternate and rule curves everything we set up we right we're done with everything so we connected every junction and node and we have our reserve network ready so now what i'll i'll do i'll change that module to simulation and we'll create the run condition and then we'll run it and then we'll see the results okay so i'm just changing from uh, reserve network to simulation and you can see the previous uh, network and the reaches just gone so what we have to do we have to create a new run and you can see here from simulation we can create new then it is going to give you this option so change the condition as run like one or whatever run you have you need to do and you can give the description so that you can even remember that this is the run condition and here it is giving today's date but what i'm going to do the starting date uh, will be like first of uh, first of july okay first of july 2017 and to this okay first of october october first first of october 2017 and here we have a look back time so this time should be even before this date okay so that doesn't matter because we have this data set so what we can do this will be like 2017 and you can use this look back time like june okay like june 1st june 1st or even you can use one uh, day as well it doesn't matter and the starting time will be like zero zero middle of the night because i have the hourly data and then it's giving you this option okay so here because we have the alternative right the alternate we have so here i'm just selecting and then the time instead we selected previously one hour because our data like the observation data the simulation data at this node the run condition and the boundary condition we have so these are at one hour interval so if i click ok then it is gonna create one run for you then we will run it if everything is okay then it will check first and it will give you the error message or anything so it's creating the environment and everything looks okay so before running the model even i can even import the watershed boundary right i can do that how can i do that so here now from this edit menu see here you can go to layer and then here from edit you can click on allow layer editing and then you can go to maps and add map layer so from this map layer i'm going to add a shape file that is on the same projection system nad 1983 so you can see the entire network and the watershed as well so here it is we have the network right so that looks good so you need to even know the flow from this watershed. so that is the a job you need to do using either different models hydrologic models or any other observation data so that is the network we have now we already have our run condition so we can even click on that on the right side you can see compute alternate and it's going to give you the simulation result if everything is okay and before that you can even save it okay already it's saved you don't need to save right away but if everything is okay then it will run so compute alternate so hopefully you see it's running pretty quickly it's run otherwise it will it would give you the red message and that would show you where you have your problem okay so when it is complete and i'm done with so close it and now you can see if i click there right click and you'll see you have the plot plot operation plot release and other user graph you can plot so you can plot it right for this reservoir you can see the plot and graph so what we have done the elevation right the first elevation is the pool level 90 and then we have 75 so these are the zone it is showing okay and here you can see the flow rate right this flow rate and based on the information it is going to give you the total flow as cfs okay i'm going to close that and if you want to even know 
the flow for that stream or that river you can even plot that as well so this is the flow it is coming from upstream to that reservoir it's a pretty big flow and the reservoir will be over a flowing condition and then it is like more than 20,000 because during the storm hurricane harvey it was flooded and it was because of heavy rainfall as well and here you can even check all this reach and you can plot you can check everything but for the simulation we didn't add see can you see that the same flow we added it is this peak more than 20 and the shape looks similar because the same flow we added here we are going to get it here because the flow we added here it was 60% of that one and it was 40% so when they are combining so we are getting the total flow there but what will happen here at this junction or for this okay let's see at this junction it will be accumulation of this and that okay so it will be double you can see it is double see so this is how it is gonna add and you can even modify your plot from this upload options and view you can explore all this we have different options but usually what I do I don't use all uh, this plot for my report or publication I use different code for publication and other software package to make it better okay so what will happen at the very outlet see the very outlet it will be the accumulation of everything right for the reservoir 2 I can even or reservoir B we can plot and we can see the same condition because we added the same condition for reservoir A and reservoir B and the same inflow condition as well that's why this plots are similar and you can even get this value pretty big here and you can see it is the accumulation of all this flow see it is kind of more than 120 thousand cfs right it is even huge and at the very outlet you can see it will be the accumulation of this and that as well so that is the ultimate goal you can even get see it is even adding more it is more than 140,000 right so it is just adding and adding when it's getting flow from this sub basin or this sub basin so what we have to do if you even want to divert water from your main this main stream so you can even use the diversion tool to divert the amount of water from this junction or from another junction or from outlet then it will even calculate that uh, diversion as well so that is a pretty simple and ready-made model i just demonstrated here but for calculating the information for reservoir for streams and see if we just change the routing mechanism from this stream to that if i edit that and if i just change it to masking gum it is asking right the masking gum k value so k value is the travel time of the uh, water body from this location to that location so it depends it depends on the length right and the slope of the channel so we have to be able to calculate this so for example it, it will take like one hour okay and then the masking gum x the the wedding factor the wedding factor it it varies from 0 to 0 0.5 so usually we use 0 0.25 right and number of sub reaches so number of sub reaches is one for this time so i'm applying and everything is okay and if you can change it you can change that and if you can run so for example there if i can change it because it's a pretty big stream right i can change it i can use that and here uh, if i use it it is going to take like mm, five hour and everything is okay so now if i run so for the current condition you can remember you can see the plot it looks like this 50,000 okay 55,000 and shape is this so if i just run for this condition we just have so let's see what we can get it's running and it's done for the same condition here let's check the plot this plot looks okay because we added only one hour but this should be uh, different right let's check it's pretty similar didn't change that much but it changed a little bit changed the shape a little bit not that much 
but the peak just reduced, right? It didn't even transform every water from the upstream to downstream because we delayed it. So that's why it got reduced a little bit. So these are the options we have and you can even explore because it is the model is pretty hefty model. And if you can make it that way because you need a lot of information but in my future video what i'll do for this reservoir instead of adding only these two values i'll add a pretty long list of values and i'll add all those features right pump the power you can even use hydropower generation and you'll get you can even estimate if this reservoir is capable of generating that mass hydropower you need so it will even estimate that from that storage uh, level and for the stream power it generates so even that is the possibility of using this software package you can add all those features there and then you can even calculate the variables you need to know so that's it for today and if you have any query or question if you feel any difficulty you can let me know so i'll try to upload that videos and i'll try to even answer your questions so until then, stay safe and thank you for watching my videos and supporting my YouTube channel. So that is for today. Bye.